A very warm and delightful morning to all of you. I am Somesh Sarana. I head the digital business group and marketing for LGFC Ergo. It fills me with immense excitement and pride to extend a heartfelt welcome to all the participants of Zone 1 round of the 8th edition of HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Awards Junior 2023. Congratulations to each one of you who have secured your position amongst the top 34 teams. And I'm very happy to tell that out of 2,205 schools you've secured in the top 34. Congratulations to each one of you. At HDFC Ergo, we are committed and we want to empower the young minds with the insurance knowledge from early age to help them make informed decisions as they, as they journey into adulthood. And with that objective, this is where we are. First zonal round. We started this quiz in 2016 in Mumbai with a handful of 18 participating schools. Today, we have reached to students across a wide range of landscape of our country through this initiative. And this year, we have participation from 150 cities of the country. Before I move forward, let us look at the names of the school and students in today's zonal round. Very congratulations to all of you once again. Now, I would like to request our esteemed guest of honor, Mr. Hitain Kothari, appointed actuary of HDFC Ergo General Insurance, to share some encouraging words with the participants. Hitain, over to you. Can I please request, request Hitain to kind of address all our students? I believe there is some technical fault. Uh, Hitain, can you hear us? Hello, I'm audible. Yes, now you are. I'm sorry, some Over issue. Deal. No problem. All right. First and foremost, uh, heartfelt congratulations to all the young wizards present here. Uh, it gives me an immense pleasure and to see the amount of awareness that you guys have today. Uh, to be successful here, be present here among the 2,205 colleges, you are among the 34 uh, schools that have you know, success, successfully managed to come here. Uh, I'll. As a as a father of two daughters, I'll definitely love to see one of my children or both the children to be present at the quiz at some form in the year in the future. They are still young, but I love to see them being present and participate and possibly win as well. Uh, while India marks its footsteps on moon uh, ahead of a lot of other global economies, uh, sometimes I believe that what we have failed is to create the necessary awareness especially in terms of insurance literacy within the country. Indians still talk about you know, financial literacy as investments, mutual funds, equities, but insurance, which is a basic tenant of protection, a lot of times we miss that one. I hope you know, the, the awareness programs that we have created, the efforts that the company is making and to educate the children, uh, that will create the right stepping stone in the next few years where we can increase the penetration within the country. Uh, IID has taken its mission, insurance for all, by 2047, the year in which India marks its 100th year, 100th year of independence. And by that time, we would love that each and every Indian to be insured, to be protected against the financial uncertainties that life can bring upon us. We This year, we were thrilled to see that, you know, that the participation crossed more than 2,200 schools. That's a huge effort. Uh, to reach out to pan india across the country reach out to the schools and uh, i really heads off to the organizers organizers and the parents and the teachers to make these efforts of a youth success 
dear students remember this insurance is a cornerstone for the protection and helps prevent financial uncertainties today as you participate in the in the zonal rounds stay calm listen well focus and i wish you all the success do well all the best thank you very much great uh, thank you itain for those wonderful words i'm i'm sure uh, all the participants will be kind of taking a note of that you need to stay calm if you want to go ahead and obviously the kind of insurance knowledge that you need to kind of uh, go ahead will help you ahead in life as well thank you once again for uplifting words and i would like to express uh, like itain also said my gratitude to the parents and schools who have encouraged these students to reach beyond their textbooks and compete on a national level um, honestly without your support they would not have been able to do that and the purpose for which we started this that tomorrow when they they are going ahead in their lives doing whatever they would want to do they should understand the insurance or importance of insurance and encourage and make others aware of what insurance is why insurance is why it is important so thank you once again before we move forward can i request my team to kind of uh, show the audio visual and then we move forward student of 9th standard top of his class good at studies and winner of all extra curricular activities meet rahul हाँ अंकल आपका मरीन क्लेम इसलिए रिजेक्ट हुआ बिकॉज लॉस और डैमेज ड्यू टू दी अनसी वर्दीनेस ऑफ द वेसल इज एक्सक्लूडेड इन योर स्टैंडर्ड मरीन कार्गो पॉलिसी राहुल को सभी इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज के बारे में पता है हेल्थ मोटर होम ट्रेवल सब कुछ सो मच दैट ही इज बिकम द इंश्योरेंस एंड रिस्क मैनेजमेंट गुरु ऑफ आवर होम आंटी जी आपके स्टैंडर्ड्स आपके हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस सब लिमिट से बहुत हाई हैं जैसे कि आपका हॉस्पिटल रूम रेंट अच्छा तो क्या करूं चेंज कर लो ना जैसे बिना नंबर चेंज के आप अपना नेटवर्क प्रोवाइडर चेंज कर सकते हैं वैसे ही कंटिन्यूटी बेनिफिट्स के साथ आप अपना इंश्योरर भी चेंज कर सकते हैं राहुल एक्सेलेंट इंश्योरेंस क्वेश्चन इज क्वाइट फेमस हर किसी को चाहिए उसकी एडवाइस अब तो लोग घर पर भी आने लग गए हैं अंकल आपकी बेसिक थर्ड पार्टी लाइबिलिटी पॉलिसी रवि भैया के ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस भी नहीं संभाल पाएगी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव कार इंश्योरेंस के साथ साथ इंजन एंड गेयर बॉक्स प्रोटेक्शन एड ऑन कवर ले लो बच जाओगे सेक्रेटरी अंकल अपने बिल्डिंग में बहुत सारे स्ट्रक्चरल डिफेक्ट है एक काम करो बिल्डर से चेक करो इनहेरेंट डिफेक्ट इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी के बारे में और जल्दी से रिपेयर वर्क शुरू करो I'm so happy I'm able to help everyone around me. It's like I found my purpose. अरे बेटा मेरा साइबर सिक्योरिटी फिल दी ऑनलाइन फॉर्म डाट बस पेमेंट ही तो करना है बाय आई एम प्राउड ऑफ माई बेटा आफ्टर विनिंग द एच डी एफ सी अर्गो इंश्योरेंस अवेयरनेस क्विज विनिंग हेज बिकम अ हैबिट विद इन काश हमारे टाइम पे भी ऐसा कोई क्विज होता मैं भी दे पाता अपने सपनों को हौसलों की उड़ान <laughs> इस क्विज के साथ राहुल जैसे कई स्टूडेंट्स के सपनों को मिलेगी हौसलों की उड़ान वेल व्हाट बेटर देन दिस राइट ईच वन ऑफ यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट व्हेन विल यू बिकम द राहुल एंड व्हेन यू विल बिकम एन ब्रांड एंबेसडर वेयर यू कैन गो एंड टॉक अबाउट इंश्योरेंस एनकरेज अदर पीपल clear their doubts as to what needs to be done what should be done and the objective of this insurance hdfc ergo insurance awareness awards junior 2023 which is our 8th edition is exactly what we have shown here we want each one of you participating irrespective of whether you win or not to go out and encourage people to make them aware that why insurance is important to clear their doubts so on that note uh while uh, most of you i'm sure must be following asia cup for the final results you will have to wait till tomorrow but i'm sure for the zonal rounds we'll announce the results today itself so i don't want to kind of delay anything further
can i please request our quiz master mr venkatesh commonly known as mr venkatesh srinivasan who is more commonly known as venki uh, can i please request him to take over from here welcome venki thank you somesh uh, namaskar very good morning to all of you uh, thank you for the kind words first of all and the wonderful inspiring introduction um, from uh, the two of you i think it really sets the stage for what is going to be a riveting battle uh, all of you joining on the youtube live stream to watch this thank you very much for joining and a warm welcome once again to all of you to this first zonal of the hdfc ergo insurance awareness award junior 2023 My name is Venki Srinivasan. I have the privilege of being your quiz master this year and bringing this quiz to you. This is going to be really exciting because uh, you heard um, you heard Somesh uh, say uh, there have been 2,200 schools which took part. There were some grueling preliminary rounds. There were cluster rounds, and we have the top 34 teams over here, which have qualified and are going to play these four zonal rounds with us over today and tomorrow. the winner from each of these zonal rounds will directly qualify for the grand finale which is going to happen uh, in person in mumbai on the 27th of september we also have a very special surprise for you on the 26th which we'll tell you about but also remember that the second and third place teams which is the first runner up and the second runner up of the quiz will qualify to play in an eliminator right and no points for guessing where that concept is from we just spoke about the asia cup uh, the ipl eliminator format is what has been brought in here as well so if you finish second or third you get one more shot at making the grand finale the four zonals the second and third teams will compete in an eliminator on the 20th of september to determine the final two teams so if you win here you go straight through and if you are first or second runner up then you get a second shot right it's time now to meet uh, the wonderful teams that have made it over here uh, who are truly our superheroes and who are going to kind of display hosla ki udan over here let's get started and meet our teams team number 1 in today's zonal please welcome with a warm round of applause ryan international school malad mumbai kavya and joel please introduce yourselves Yeah, good morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here, uh, Kavya and Joel, and we represent Ryan International School, CBSC Mala. Wonderful, Ryan International. All the best to you. Welcome to the zonal round. Team number two, neighboring them, are Krishna Public School, uh, Tulsi Raipur, Srijan, and Siddhi. Good morning, everyone. We are uh, feeling immense pleasure to speak up here. This is Siddhi, and uh, we just want to go ahead like this. wonderful all right warm welcome to you keep the smile on throughout the quiz that's most important team number 3 are from jabalpur joy senior secondary school kaushiki and anyana uh, good morning sir good morning everyone we are kaushiki krishnan and ananya agrawal from joy senior secondary school jabalpur it's an honor to be here thank you wonderful it's just amazing to see teams from three different cities already mumbai raipur jabalpur uh, you know we're criss crossing the country and we continue on to a fourth new city bhubaneswar dav public school saransh and jivitesh hello sir sir i'm jivitesh jena from dav public school chandrashekarpur sir i'm saransh patnaik from dav cspur wonderful welcome dav bhubaneswar neighboring them are a team from their twin city truly neighboring them are jawarimar high school katak priyanshu and somjit good morning sir it's pleasure for us to be here i am priyanshu sekhar sen and i am somjit rai from jawarimar high school wonderful guys from jawarimar high school welcome uh, moving back to bhubaneswar now to our second bhubaneswar team narayana e techno school bhubaneswar shristi and samir Uh, yes, so we feel really honourable right here. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome, Narayana E Techno. Nice to have you here. Team number seven are from the beautiful touristy pink city of Jaipur, Cambridge Court High School, Nishkarsh and Raghav. Uh, good morning, everyone. 
I am Raghavet. This is Nishkar from Chemist School, World School, Jaipur, and uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Wonderful. Welcome in their bright orange uniforms uh, and with a big smile on their faces. Welcome. And rounding up our lineup, our Delhi Public School, Ludhiana, where we have Kriyansh and Shrey. Good morning, everyone. I'm Shrey Jain from DPS Ludhiana. It's it's an immense pleasure to be here. And I'm Jain Jain from DPS Ludhiana. Wonderful. Those are our top eight teams. Let's give them a huge virtual round of applause and wish them the very, very best of luck as we get cracking with our first zonal round of the HDFT Ergo Insurance Awareness Award Junior 2023. This is how the quiz will go. There are four rounds in the quiz. We're going to play two rounds on passing and two rounds on the buzzer. Uh, for the buzzer rounds, there will be some special rules. We've already tested the buzzers out with you. You can bring out your second device at that time and play the buzzer rounds. The passing rounds, one round will go clockwise, which means we start from team one, which is Ryan, and move to teammate DPS. And the second round will move in the reverse order, right? Rules of each round will be explained to you. Please give us one answer after discussion between the two of you. Don't get overexcited and give two, three answers. Give us one answer and speak clearly. Unmute yourself and speak clearly into the mic, right? Uh, other than that, just make sure that you all play fair, have fun. And like I said, most importantly, no need to look really serious. It is a serious business, but it's also fun. We're here to play the quiz. So let's have a smile on everybody's face. And for the next 45 minutes, let's enjoy ourselves, have fun, display some Hosloki Udan, and find our future superheroes as we move into this quiz. Let's go straight in. Round number one is our round the clock round. Let's see how it works. There will be a grid with nine questions. Now that we've done this just so that it's in random order, you pick your own luck. Uh, the question, the, the number on the grid has nothing to do with the answer. So if you pick five, it doesn't mean the answer contains five in any manner. It's just a grid with nine questions. Uh, six or seven of the questions are specifically insurance and there is no negative marking in the quiz. So please don't pass. Make a guess. We'll give you 30 seconds when it's your direct question. And then as we pass within the next 10 seconds, each will have to give us an answer quickly. You will get 10 points whether you answer on the direct or on the pass. If there are any part points to be avoided, it will be on my discretion. And my decision on this will be absolutely fine. Right? So if we are ready, let's move to the grid and let's ask. Can we have the grid, please? Yes. Let's ask Ryan Mallard, what is your lucky number? What do you want to start us off with? We want to pick the number seven. You're going to pick the number seven. All right, let's go straight on to number seven in that case. Question number seven. In October 2011, the IRDAI, the Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, made it easier for people to switch insurers for health insurance policies by introducing something. This gave consumers more safety and flexibility. What is the 11 letter one word term for this concept introduced by the IRDAI? Ryan Mallard, this is your direct question. Make a guess. Can we get an answer, Ryan? Go for it. Is it uh, portability? Sorry? Portability. Portability. Why so doubtful? Absolutely correct. It is portability. You would have heard of portability. Also, possibly in the context of telecom and mobile number portability. Similarly, IRDA High has introduced insurer portability from 1st October 2011. In fact, if you saw the AV carefully, you saw Rahul in the AV talk about the concept of portability. 
So this is portability, which means that you can move insurers and your interests as an as a consumer get safeguarded. Good start, Ryan, off the mark with 10 points. Please keep your videos on though, guys, throughout. Please don't go off video. Let's move back to the grid. And let's ask Krishna, KPS Raipur, what number would you like? Number five. Number five for KPS Raipur, all right. The first example of this is the policy that was issued to a certain Gilbert J. Loomis in 1897. Issued in Dayton, Ohio, which is in the United States of America, the policy covered damages to something which was a new invention at that time. In 1897, this is something that had just been invented and started becoming popular, especially in the US. So a gentleman called Gilbert J. Loomis took a policy. What is this the first instance of? So, so we have to uh, name the insurance? Yes, what type of insurance is this? So motor insurance. Motor insurance. And what was the new invention, therefore, at that time? So uh, cars, like motor. Very good. Absolutely correct. Automobile insurance or motor insurance is absolutely correct. We're talking about the invention of the motor car. Cars have just started getting popular. And Gilbert Loomis decided that I need to protect my car against any damages. And so he went out and took the first automobile or motor insurance. Excellent answer. Well worked out, team two. 10 points to you. We go back to the grid. And it's now Joy Jabalpur. Your turn. Let's go back to the grid, please. Yeah. Joy Jabalpur. Number three, please. Number three, please. Okay. Number three for Joy Jabalpur. Who concluded her final school strike protesting against climate change in 2023? She graduated from high school this year, but continues to advocate for climate change. She wants to continue that, except that she doesn't need to school skip school anymore. She used to have to skip school and protest against climate change earlier. And now she's finished school, but she intends to continue advocating for climate change. Who is this amazing girl? This question, of course, has nothing to do with insurance, but it's a very important topic in the world that we live in, which has indirect, I would say, uh, effect on a lot of insurance related things because climate change is very real and we are potentially seeing lots of disasters, uh, natural disasters happen because of that. Who is this girl who has been protesting against climate change? Team three, Joy Jawalpur. Okay, give us a guess, Joy Jabalpur. Uh, Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. Do you know which country she's from? Uh, somewhere European. Somewhere European, I guess. A European country. I'll give it to you. It is Greta Thunberg. That is correct. Uh, Greta Thunberg, who did the school strike. So you can see there, she's Swedish. She says, call strike for climate, which means school strike for climate. Uh, as a young girl, she's raised awareness on this topic and uh, protested before several world leaders who've been attending conferences and talking about it, saying, for our generation, you need to leave behind a safer uh, planet. So please be responsible with your actions. So that's Greta Thunberg. Excellent answer, Team 3. You're also off the mark with 10 points. Well done, Joy Jabalpur. D.A.V. Bhuvaneshwar, your turn on the grid now. Sir, number 4. Number 4, right. Question number 4. To accurately assess crops, the PMFBY, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana is facilitating the implementation of a technology driven method called Yes Tech. It offers best practices and integration insights. You don't need to read what is in the plaque. It's, it's an inauguration plaque. It says on such and such a date, so and so person came and inaugurated the new parliament. What inspired the design for this?
something very important to all of us in india that inspired the design sir constitution what about what in the constitution specifically preamble preamble to the constitution lovely answer absolutely right wonderful answer there it's the preamble to the constitution of india which says we the people of india uh, so the preamble to the constitution of india that design is what inspired the inauguration plaque let me give you a little bit of additional information here you might know that india's constitution is a handwritten constitution it's one of the longest handwritten constitutions in the world there are beautiful designs on each page a gentleman called nandalal bose was a accomplished artist from shantiniketan in west bengal along with a group of other artists came and designed each page of the handwritten constitution and the indian constitution begins with the same three words that the us constitution begins with which is we the people right excellent fantastic quizzing by all the teams go back to the grid narayana e techno bhubaneswar what would you like sir we will go for second number you will go for number 2 right what two word term applies to these precautionary installations at many construction sites it is also used in a figurative sense for example this is the same two word term used to describe financial aid that is provided when you take up an insurance scheme we'll show you an image yeah what is this called you will see it in many buildings that are under construction but it's also a term that's used in the financial world this is something that you get if you the, this is one of the reasons why you would take up an insurance scheme because you're creating for yourself a dash dash safety net the safety net financial safety, safety net, net. Very good. Well worked out. Safety net is absolutely correct. This is a safety net. I think that was a guess, but that guess came out right. Uh, it is a safety net. Obviously, in the construction parlance, uh, it's to make sure that no, no, none of the workers working on the building end up, you know, falling down and getting injured. But it's figuratively used in the financial world to say that you're creating for yourself a safety net so that if something goes wrong. you are not able to uh, safeguard against that wonderful fantastic quizzing by all our teams here in the first zonal round two more questions remain cambridge court jaipur 1 8 or 9 sir question number 8 question 8 right in an insurance policy this section details the type of event that's insured more importantly it states the promise of the insurance company to compensate for any loss or damage suffered due to the occurrence of the perils insured under the policy the list of covered perils ensures that all parties are clear about what the policy covers what is this section of the insurance policy for we need a two word answer here again. Um, sir, is it operative clause? Sorry, say that again. Sir, it is operative clause. It is an operative clause. Excellent, absolutely correct. This is the operative clause. The operative clause in the document is what tells you wh what the promise is, and it kind of puts the insurers and the insured on the same page as far as what the perils are specifically covered and what is the kind of compensation that the insured will get in case any of the unforeseen events or circumstances happen wonderful operative class 10 points okay dps ludhiana you have the first and the last question left which one do you want to pick one or nine number nine number nine okay number nine is an interesting question it's not an insurance question but it's an interesting question mission isro is a podcast spread over 12 episodes describing how isro the indian space research organization came to be how it is what it is today it's narrated by a gentleman fondly known as the voice of cricket who is this versatile person who narrates the mission isro podcast 
you would have heard his voice in many cricket matches sir uh, we have to uh, tell the name of the commentator yes who is also uh, the the voice over for this podcast uh is the answer harsha bogle the answer is harsha bogle very good absolutely correct the iim amdabad alumnus and uh, famed cricket commentator harsha bogle so mission isro roped him in to do this podcast it's a lovely podcast if you haven't heard it please do it is harsha bogle all right what an amazing first round that we've had i think i'd like to give all of you a big round of applause because it's one of those easy things for my colleagues who are scoring as well right we've already tested the buzzers all eight teams uh, have joined the buzzer let's just uh, uh, i think we are we are we are pretty much good to go uh, i don't think we need to test again yeah we uh, we once again like to request and make sure that all of you stay on camera please right please stay on camera ideally just hold up your phones in front of you it will then be easy for you to buzz as well please keep your cameras on uh, i think uh, ryan kavya and team i think your camera is off we need your camera on please sir are you able to see us uh right Sorry. please please make sure that all cameras are on i think we are okay buzzer round five questions everything's on the buzzer please don't answer out of turn i will tell you which team has buzzed first then you answer everybody is already on buzzin.live uh, we've given you the game code i will read out the question there are some cases where there will be images if there are images i will first read out the question and then show you the image right and then you hit the buzzer don't buzz way too early because sometimes the operative part of the question may be right at the end of the question right but you can buzz at any time if you interrupt me after i have said who was the first and you hit the buzzer i will stop reading right and you have to come up with an answer somehow if you get it wrong you get minus 4 we will then reset the buzzer and i will read the full question if i have read the full question we will go in the order of the teams that have buzzed so if the first team gets it wrong they get a minus 4 and the second team gets a chance but only two teams get a chance at the maximum all right so all of you ready uh, be ready on the buzzer here is the first question natural disasters like landslides floods and earthquakes are classified as aogs what is aog kenrich code sir aog is act of god act of god absolutely right cambridge got to off the mark 8 points for act of god was a reset right second question this is an image question we are going to show you a particular health insurance scheme from hdfc ergo one word is one short word has been blanked out what is the one word that has been blanked out Let's see the image. What one word has been blanked out from this special insurance health insurance scheme from HDFC? Ergo, you can see Suraksha over there. One word, Cambridge Court again. Sir, the full name of the policy is Koti Suraksha. And do you know why it's called Koti Suraksha? Sir, Koti Suraksha. so maybe it is because the koti actually means one more uh, one crore okay. it means one crore koti so means one crore that is correct it is a one crore uh, samash uh, one crore health insurance uh, cover uh, from hdfc ergo very premium very comprehensive plan well worked out cambridge court eight points to you again on that let's reset the buzzer okay buzzers are reset go on to question number 3 i'm going to read out the question no image here listen carefully road accident claims are filed with a macd mac stands for motor accident claim what does the t stand for cambridge court 
Sir, T stands for tribunal. Tribunal, wonderful. Cambridge Court on fire in the buzzer round. Three on three, plus eight, plus eight, plus eight to you. Fourth question coming up. Buzzers have been reset. We're going to show you an image. You have to tell us this is the tomb of which ruler? This is something you will find in Karnataka. You have to tell us this is the tomb of which ruler? DAV? Sir, Golgamba. I want the name of the ruler, not the name of the building. DAV, minus four to you. Second bus from Cambridge Court. This tomb was Adil Shah's. Wonderful. It is Adil Shah. Absolutely right. This is the Golgumbas in Bijapur. It's the tomb of Adil Shah. So that would be minus four to team four DAV, uh, uh, Bhavaneshwar, and plus eight again to Cambridge Court on this question. Last question coming up from the world of sports. Which team won the FIFA Women's World Cup trophy in 2023? No, no prizes for guessing who has bust first. Cambridge Court again. Spain was the winner. Who was the winner? Spain. Spain. Wow. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Cambridge Court have kind of destroyed this buzzer round completely. They've gotten all five answers correct in this buzzer round. Really fast on the buzzer. Really well prepared. Uh, so that gives you an enormous number of points. But therefore, it's now time to go to the leaderboard and see the scores once. At this halfway point of the fantastic first zonal round of the HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Award Junior 2023. Time to look at the scores. Here we go. All right. Yes. As we knew, DAV Bhubaneshwar have fallen slightly behind because of that negative. All other teams on 10, but Cambridge Court, Jaipur into a huge lead with 50 points. But still half of the quiz is left to play. So all the best, everyone. This could still be a tight finish. Remember. Winner goes directly through to the grand finale on 27th, but the second and third place are equally important because the first and second runners up go into the eliminator on the 20th. All right, let's go back to the quiz now. All right, we go into round three. Now, round three is a very interesting round. We have a little twist in round three. It's the grid round, but it's the grid round with a lifeline. So you have the same nine questions you pick. We are going to go in reverse order, starting from team number eight, DPS Lutiana. But we have with us a very, very special guest, an expert from the industry whom you can use as a lifeline once in this round. You can use him for your direct question or you can use him on the pass. That's up to you. But you can use his expertise only once. It is my honor, privilege and pleasure to welcome our special guest, our expert for this zonal round quiz, Udit Prasanna Mukherjee, Uditha as he is known as, is the business editor at the Times of India, Calcutta, has extensively written about and covered the business sector for many years now. Uh, all the people in Cal who grew up reading uh, the business section of TOI uh, would know his name. Uh, and he's tracked and championed companies from Calcutta as well. Uditha, warm welcome to you. Uh, I know you joined quite early. Uh, what, do you, uh, what are your first impressions of this quiz? In fact, I am really surprised to see that they know, really know these school boys and girls. Uh, in fact, in their age, uh, we had no clue about insurance. And whatever uh, I'm, I'm writing about insurance for almost 20 years now, uh, more than 20 years. So, uh, in fact, they know much more than us. In fact, whatever in some question, I was also clueless, actually, I should tell you. They know much more than us in this age. 
this is uh, a really great great achievement for them and it's yes. really good because the insurance awareness in our country is very low we should do it more often thank you absolutely absolutely, absolutely. thanks for those kind words i think uh, this is a, this is the power of this initiative the eighth edition of the uh, you know insurance awareness award uh, junior quiz by hdfc ergo and um, you know it's it's really created some buzz in the market and really made uh, things uh, very exciting and uh, you can see the level of preparation and awareness but we have uditha here with us today so anytime you feel like to taking his expertise taking his help you can do so you can see the question and then say i would like to use the lifeline uh, we will then ask uditha to give you some kind of a clue or or lead you to the answer perhaps a very close and then you can choose whether you want to pick his answer and answer or not there is no negative marking in any case of any kind he is just here to help you all out but he is also here because he is from cal and that automatically makes him a quiz aficionado i'm sure uh, that he enjoys and loves watching quizzes uh, it's it is the it is the city that after all gave quizzing to this country in some way so you know he's here and uh, he's he'll, he'll be glad to help you out right so let's get things cracking let's go to the grid and now we're going to go in reverse order so dps ludhiana this time you get the first pick what would you like uh, we like to choose number 7 you want to choose number 7 okay number 7 trucks tempers and tippers are some of the gcvs of the vehicles covered under motor insurance policies by hdfc ergo such insurance includes coverage against theft fire and explosion and accidents among other things very simply what is gcv if you are slightly unsure please take the help of our expert goods carrying vehicles goods carrying vehicles are you sure sir uh, we like to use the lifeline first all right all right they would like to invoke their lifeline so that that's your turn what advice would you like to give them they've already made one guess hello uh, uh this one thing i would like to uh, tell you that uh, this is the expansion hint to the fact that the uh, modes of transport in the question the gcv undertake the movement of cargo movement of cargo you please uh, take it on mind okay so the expert has said concentrate on the fact that it's movement of cargo so what is your final answer dps ludhiana you can you can repeat your original guess or you can give some other answer it's up to you the expert has given you a clue saying concentrate on the movement of cargo okay Let's have your final answer. Goods carrying vehicles. Excellent, absolutely correct. Goods carrying vehicles, like Vidya said, the cargo part is referenced in goods, and the movement part is referenced in carrying. So, goods carrying vehicles. These are vehicles that uh, carry commercial goods from one place to another, and they get insured against fire, explosion, accidents, or any other untoward incidents. So these are goods carrying vehicles. Wonderful. Ten points to DBS Ludhiana. Back to the grid. Cambridge Court Jaipur. Number three. Number three. Right. General knowledge question for you, Cambridge Court. We're going to show you the national flag of a country. What is referenced by the two lines you see in the national flag? This country itself is a very tiny country located in the Pacific Ocean. and whatever is being referred to here by the two lines is something that extends for nearly 40000 kilometers let's see the flag you don't have to necessarily name the country if you can wonderful but tell us what are those you see an orange line and a white line what do those represent whatever it represents is 40000 kilometers in length in a way and we would late like to take the expert lifeline all right you want to go to the expert hello 
the uh, thing in question what uh, been asked uh, does not pass through india so you can narrow your guess it does not pass through india okay that's your experts clue that whatever is being asked for that thing as we've called it does not pass through india sir can you show the question once again sure let's see the text of the question again so what is the reference to the two lines in the flag? The countries in the Pacific Ocean, whatever this thing is, is almost 40,000 kilometers and does not pass through India. The answer is equator. How are you so sure? Sir, because uh, the expert said that it does the line does not pass through India. And equator is does not pass through India, certainly. And also, uh, it is written that... Uh, uh, the thing is, is being referred extent nearly to 40,000 kilometers. Absolutely is. wonderful. That's the best way to use your expert lifeline. Wonderful, very, very thoughtful clue there by Uditha to the teams. And this is the equator. This country is the Marshall Islands, which is located just south of the equator. Right. Once again, cameras on, please, everyone. Johari Mal, please turn your camera on. That's a good 10 points to Cambridge Court. Narayana, Bhubaneshwar, your chance. So we will try question number one. You want to try question number one? All right, let's try question number one. The, the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana, which we saw about earlier, operates on the area approach principle. Each crop's area under cultivation is defined by a state level coordination committee on crop insurance under the respective state or union territories government. What to word term is used for these defined areas? Because the, the whole scheme operates on this area approach. There, there's a specific committee that determines what is the area under cultivation. And the, the, the crop insurance kind of is determined on the basis of that. The, the limits and the amounts are determined on the basis of that. So what is the two word term used for these defined areas? So we will take the lifeline. All right. Three in a row, lifeline. You're back in action. Yeah. Thanks and good morning. Uh, the two word terms that uh, he asked, uh, that section of the land are covered under the policy. That section of the land covered under the policy. The two word term refers to the fact that section of the land are covered under the policy. The section of the land covered under the policy. Section of the land, you should, uh, uh, I think, uh, give a guess. Use that as your clue. What would you, what would you call like that section of the land or that smaller bit or part? What would you call that? We'll need a guess from you guys. Uh, approach area something approach area nice guess not approach area passes to joharinal joharinal we need your video on please and please unmute quickly and give us either an answer or pass because it's only five seconds to ten seconds per team on the pass Pass. Okay, pass. Passes to GME Bhuvaneshwar. Sir, insurance unit. What unit? Insurance unit. I'll give it to you. It's the insured unit. It's called an insured unit. But insurance unit is close enough. I'll give it to you. It's the insured unit. That was the clue that Uditha gave saying, think of that particular part of the land, which is called a unit. And that's what gets insured. It's the insured unit. You might have 10 acres of land, but the cultivation is happening on that specific part of the land, and the insurance is determined on the basis of that in the Pran Mantri Safal Bhima Yojana. Fasal Bhima Yojana. Sorry. Uh, all right. So that's 10 points on the pass to DAV Bhuvaneshwar. First steal of the quiz, so to say. 
good. You make up a little bit on that negative that you got earlier. Good for you. But we go back to the grid now, and it's now Johari Mal, your turn. Sir, uh, six number. Number six. All right. Six. Two buts. This crime involves the fraudulent use of electronic signatures, passwords, or other unique identification features of someone else to commit to commit deceitful acts. What is such a crime called? What sort of insurance provides a cover against such a crime? We'll give you five points for each part. What is such a crime called where you fraudulently use someone else's e-signature or password or you know uh, other kind of identification that they have and commit deceitful acts? Look carefully at the word electronic signature over there and passwords. Uh, and you can use that to tell us the second part as well, which is what kind of insurance covers such a crime? Sir, we would like to take the lifeline. All right. Please use your lifeline. Good morning once again, boys and girls. Uh, this is something uh, very interesting, actually. In 2002-22, India ranked first among researched countries according to statistics worldwide by the number of such cases with an estimated 27.2 million that's a great number 27.2 million adults victims during the period making getting insurance against such a crime a very important step for people in today's digital world something uh, it's now in the news so, so his clue was, I'm just repeating, that 27.2 million such cases were registered last year where people suffered yeah. against this, of, by being victims of such a crime. And he used a very key word there saying digital. Think of another word for digital that will give you the second part, what sort of insurance. And for the first part, we'll accept some alternate answers. Sir, the crime is cyber crime. Okay, and what sort of insurance would would uh, protect against that? And can you be a little more specific on the first part? Okay, cyber crime is fine. Can you be a little bit more specific? What type of cyber crime? Is and therefore, what would be the second part? Uh, sir, cyber insurance. Cyber insurance. Okay, fine. I'm going to give you five points for saying cyber insurance. That is correct. It is cyber insurance. But the question passes for the first part. JV Bhuvaneshwar, what is the crime? Identity theft. Identity theft. Excellent answer. Identity theft is absolutely correct. That's what we wanted. Impersonation or identity theft. And of course, cyber insurance is what covers it. So that's five points each to Jaharimal Katak and to DAV Bhuvaneshwar. And DAV Bhuvaneshwar, and very useful help from Udda again. Thank you, Udda. Uh, DAV Bhuvaneshwar, back to you. Sir, four. Number four. Number four. Right, number four for you. Interesting question. What three letter acronym or abbreviation connects the UN body that you see here? It's a very important organization that is part of the UN and an insurance distribution channel authorized by the IRDAI in 2015. So since 2015, this kind of a distribution channel has been authorized by IRDAI in India. It has a three letter abbreviation and that same three letter abbreviation is the logo of this, is this international UN body that you see here, whose logo we've shown you. We've of course cropped out the logo because the full logo has the name there. So just give us three letters. Sir, uh, we would like to take the uh, life lifeline. You want to take the lifeline? All right. Good morning. Once again, uh, the insurance uh, distribution channel was envisaged to be a one-stop shop offering financial products required at various stages of the life of an individual. 
it is way for insurance firms to reach more customers it is way for insurance firms to reach more customers okay that's a very useful tool insurance firms can reach more customers through this channel so he's given you a couple of the keywords already yes. put that together with an important united nations body that is well known across the world so now that imf international monetary fund and what would the insurance related uh, organization uh, uh, channel be insurance crop insurance no no what would imf be in the context of insurance uh, the international monetary fund like it provides the money for insurance okay it is the international monetary fund that is correct we wanted imf you have given it as the answer the international monetary fund and in insurance it's insurance marketing firms that was the clue that uh, udda was giving you saying it allows insurance firms to reach a wide range of people insurance marketing firms one stop shop for all of an individuals insurance needs and of course that's the international monetary fund set up at the bretton woods conference which is an important body that loans money they don't give out money for you to take insurance they give out money to countries and other organizations which might need some temporary funding right but well worked out on imf 10 points to uh, devi all right joy jabalpur number 9 number 9 right number 9 in february 2015 the then finance minister of india mentioned it in their budget speech a large proportion of india's population is without insurance of any kind health accidental or life the soon to be launched blank which is the short form or abbreviated form of the scheme will cover accidental death risk of 2 lakhs for a premium of just 12 rupees per year what was introduced and launched in may 2015 who was this finance minister so we'd like to use the lifeline all right there is two part of this question or this is the, the only the uh, one question the name of this Uh, then i should uh, give you the finance minister who passed away in 2019 also has a cricket stadium after him named after him this is a very easy question okay he has given you a clue for the second part that is the finance minister who passed away some years ago this scheme is linked to the bank accounts open under pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana scheme this is a very a very popular skip linked to bank accounts jabalpur you understood the clues the first part clue was that this is the scheme that is linked to the pradhan mantri jandhan yojana bank accounts the second part clue is that he is a finance minister who is sadly no more with us and he has a cricket stadium in an important city in india named after him Okay, Joy Jabalpur. Let's get an answer. Uh, is the uh, the finance minister is Arun Jaitley? And that gets the, you five points. Yes, and is it Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana? That gets you your full ten points. Absolutely well cracked, Joy. Girls from Joy doing an amazing job there. That is correct. That's the Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana, the uh, one of the world's largest insurance schemes, possibly launched by the government of India. in 2015 and that is sri arun jaitley who is uh, uh, sadly no more with us but the arun jaitley cricket stadium in delhi stands uh, 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 in his memory good 10 points uh, joy jabalpur well done two questions remaining kps raipur we want to go with number 2 you want to go with number 2 right both public and private insurers contribute a portion of gross return premiums towards a particular fund annually this is in india of course this fund in turn compensates the victims of hit and run accident cases rupees 2 lakh compensation is given in the case of death and rupees 50000 is given as compensation to a person who sustained 
grievous injuries. This is specifically for hit and run accident cases. What is this fund called that all insurers contribute to? Sir, we want a lifeline. Okay, you want a lifeline. All right, Adadda. Good morning. The name of this fund refers to a thing given to someone as a compensation or consolation. Compensation or consolation. So the key word there is compensation or consolation. Think of a word that comes from that and tell us what is this fund called. So is the answer compensation fund? Good guess. Not a compensation fund. Passes to Ryan Malad. Quickly on the pass. No answer from Ryan. Passes. GPS with No answer. Cambridge court. Sir, the answer is motor vehicles accident fund. What fund? Sir, motor vehicles accident. Not motor vehicles accident fund. Passes to Narayana E. Techno Bhubaneswar. Uh, consolation fund. Not consolation fund. That was already guessed. Passes to Johari Malkatak. No, sir, we have no idea. No idea. Passes to DAB Bhubaneswar. Oh, hit and run insurance. Good try. Not hit and run insurance. Passes to Joy Jabalpur. Uh, re recompense fund. Recompense fund. Very nice guess. Not the recompense fund. And it started with Krishna Public School, Raipur. So, for the first time in this quiz, the quiz master has opened the account. I'm sure people on the on the YouTube live chat uh, have probably given the answer. But let's please ask um, our, our, our expert uh, and our lifeline uh, to give us the answer. This is Solacium Fund. Actually, it was a very uh, easy guess uh, because you have uh, they have all answered some of the very tough and toughest questions. So it was that way uh, rather an easy guess. Yes. <laughs> indeed, indeed. This is what is called the solatium fund. So solatium comes from the word solace in Latin. And the word solace, as you know, means giving consolation or somebody who's in grief or somebody who's in difficulty, kind of telling them that don't worry, everything will be okay. So a very unique, again, initiative where all public and private insurers in the country contribute a percentage of the gross return premiums and specifically for hit and run cases because again those cases have been on the rise unfortunately in india this is the solatium fund well done okay so the quiz master and the expert we are one team we are the two member team uh venki and udit we score points on this question finally and we open our account and we go to the last question on this grid and we will ask ryan to pick either five or eight 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 very easy question for you. This gentleman is known for creating something by combining the imagery of a Devanagari letter and the English letter R. The creation also features two horizontal signs to refer to the Indian tricolor. The resultant design that he created is seen throughout India. What did he design? For an extra round of applause, you can tell us what is his name. Sir, or can we ask the expert? You want to ask the expert? Okay. Hello. For the last time today. Yes. Last time. Yeah. Uh, this design can be seen on a daily basis, particularly when something is purchased. Something is purchased. Is it the rupee symbol? And do you know what this gentleman's name is by any chance? Uh, we don't. You don't. But you're saying it's the rupee symbol? And you're absolutely right. You took that clue very well. Good call to go to the lifeline. 
That's the rupee symbol. This is D. Udaya Kumar, who used to be a PhD student at IIT Bombay in the design uh, practice. He now heads the design school at IIT Gauhati. This is D. Udaya Kumar, who designed the rupee symbol. Till then, we just used to write R S dot. Uh, and now we have our own rupee symbol and he says that the the two lines there are kind of to symbolize the indian tricolor flag and the r there is reminiscent of both the english r as well as the devanagari script r all right we've come to the end of the grid round it's our turn now to give our heartfelt thanks appreciation and gratitude to uh, our expert uh, Udit Prasanna Mukherjee from the Times of India, Kolkata. Thank you very much for joining us, taking uh, your valuable time out. I know probably you're going to go right back and work on your next story. Uh, so busy times, but thank you so much for coming. My pleasure and really enjoyed. And it's an eye opener for me that uh, they uh, they know so much about insurance. That is very good. Something you, you are doing. For Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Udita. Thank you very much. And thank you for sharing your time and helping our lovely students out. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the final round of the first zonal of the HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Award Junior 2023. Before we go into the final exciting buzzer round, time to look at the scores for teams to plan their strategies. Let's see the scores. Once again, alerting all teams, the winner will go through directly, but the first and second runner-ups have a chance to play in the eliminator. All right. Leading the quiz at this point, a Cambridge court Jaipur with 60 points. But in a, in, a, in, a, in a good turn of events, the team that was lying last after the second round, DAV Bhuvaneshwar, have moved up to second place with 31 points. We have several teams on 20 points. We have Ryan, we have Joy, and we have DPS Ludhiana all on 20. Uh, we have uh, Katak on 15, and we have uh, Narayana Etekna Bhubaneshwar and KPS on 10. Remember, 40 points at stake in the final buzzer round. Anything can happen. And if you finish second or third, there's a very good chance that you actually make it to our eliminator on the 20th. Right, let's reset the buzzers. Let's go back to our uh, to our uh, PPT deck. Buzzers have been reset. Same rules, five questions, plus eight, minus four, two attempts. I think uh, Cambridge Court, Jaipur, you can like chill and relax and do a little dance and song and all of that. Uh, because uh, while it may be mathematically possible, it's going to be really difficult for you to lose the quiz from here unless you take a lot of negatives. All right. Uh, and if it comes to it in the end with one or two questions remaining, I might request you to just stay off the buzzer so that we are able to get a clear result from for the other teams. Right now you can play, not an issue. Yeah, we'll ensure that mathematically uh, once if your win is secure, then we'll ensure we'll request you not to necessarily play the buzzers. Okay, all teams ready. Hands on the buzzer. All the best. All eight teams. Here's the first question. We're going to show you uh, an image. It's a device that's covered under the agricultural scheme Kisan Sarva Suraksha Kavaj. What is this item or device you see on the screen? What is this item or device covered under the Kisan Sarva Suraksha Kavaj scheme? DPS. A motor. Better answer. Need a two word answer. Irrigation pump. Uh, say again. Irrigation pump. I'll give it to you. It's a pump set or an irrigation pump. That's good enough. Plus eight to teammate on irrigation pump or pump set. Buzzers reset. All right. Second question. Nothing on screen. I'm going to read it out. What is the minimum age to be eligible for the Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana that you just heard about? KPS Raipur? 18 years. 18 years, absolutely right. KPS Raipur, plus 8 to you. 18 years indeed. Buzzer reset. Third question, we need a one word answer. With cybercrime, also a term used in the spy world, SPY spy world, 
is the act of obtaining data and information without permission or knowledge of the owner to be used for illicit purposes. D KP is right for again. Is it hacking? Not hacking minus four to you. Squatting. No, one answer. Sorry, one answer minus four to you, KPS. Uh, next term, DAV. Sir, so, cyber spying. Not cyber spying. Not cyber spying. Not good enough. Uh, minus four to both uh, uh, DAV and KPS teams two and team four. The specific word we were looking for was espionage. Sir, espionage. it wasn't passed. So, is it the negative? Yes. You will get minus, plus eight, minus four on both first and second attempt. Sir. Espionage was the answer we were looking for. Sir. Yes. Sir, uh, we buzzed, but the name did not come in the list. Uh, it was, it was down in the list. It's fine. It's fine. You are on the buzzer. I'm able to see this Cambridge code, right? Yes. No worries. I can see your names on the buzzer. In any case, we have two questions left. Be careful, teams. KPS taking a plus and a minus. Uh, DAV, unfortunately, taking a minus. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why are you buzzing now, KPS? Don't buzz before I ask the question. OK, relax, relax. Let's play cool. General knowledge question coming up. We finished with two GK questions, actually. So all the insurance questions are done now. Which two countries in the world, you have to give two country names, which two countries are separated by the Durand line? Which two countries? DAV. So Afghanistan and Pakistan. Lovely answer, DAV. Absolutely right.
I think we are now good. Uh, everyone can hear me, right? Can you give a thumbs up and tell me that yes. you can hear me? When do you hear audible? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, great, great. great. Uh, we have one question remaining in the quiz when we uh, when we briefly dropped off. So we're back again. Let's go. Final question of the first zonal of the HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Award 2023 Junior. Here it is. We're going to show you an image. It's a panel from an Amar Chitra Kata. You have to tell us which state in India is shown in this panel. Which state? You can see an animal, a bird, a tree, everything there. Jawarima. Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh. Very good. Absolutely correct. Himachal Pradesh is indeed the right answer. That is Himachal Pradesh. Excellent answer there. You can see the Deoda tree and you could see the uh, the the golden masir fish, the western chagopan, the snow leopard. Himachal Pradesh has the Himis National Park, which is dedicated to the snow leopard, a very rare, uh, you know, animal found in India. Himachal Pradesh. All right, that gives uh, five, uh, eight valuable points to Jawarimal High School, and that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is the. Concluding part of this first zonal round of HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Award Junior 2023. One final look now at the scores. Oslonki Udan. Let's see who our superheroes are, who's qualified direct into the grand finale on September 27th at the beautiful at a beautiful venue. All right. Going in ascending order of scores, KPS Raipur finished with 14 points. Well played. <laughs> 10 points. Well done, guys. Well played. Remember, from 2,200 teams, you are in the top 34. That is a huge achievement in itself. So don't be disheartened at all. Very well played. Narayana Echekta Bhavaneshwar, 10 points. Same with KPS Raipur, 14 points. Very well done. Uh, Ryan Mallard and Joy Jabalpur on 20 points. Excellently played, both of you. Some very, very good answers. In fourth place, narrowly missing out a chance to be in the eliminator. Our uh, team from Johari Mal High School, Katak, who finished with 23 points. But taking the bronze medal today and Securing a place in the Eliminator on the 20th of September are Delhi Public School Ludhiana with 28 points. Joining them in their Eliminator will be a team which had an up and down quiz, plus minus, plus minus. But DAV Public School Bhuvaneshwar have done enough to finish runners up today on 35 points. So DAV Bhuvaneshwar and DPS Ludhiana, you will both be in the Eliminator on the 20th. But completely chilling for the next one week before they come to Mumbai for the grand finale in person in Mumbai. And a very special surprise awaits you the day before the grand finale. Uh, the organizers are going to tell you what it is later. Our winners for the first zonal of this year's Insurance Awareness Award Junior from HDFC Ergo are Cambridge Court Jaipur with 60 points. Well done, Cambridge Court High School. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful performance. I think it's time for some celebration. For your great efforts. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Well done, uh, Cambridge Court. Well done, DAV. Well done, DPS. Uh, that's the end of the first zonal. It is my pleasure to hand it back now to our head of the digital business um, group and marketing at SDFC Ergo, Somesh Surana. Somesh, it's back to you. Thank you, Venki. And what a wonderful uh, zo first zonal 
of HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Award Junior 2023. I was absolutely amazed with the kind of answers that all of them uh, gave. Uh, I was really hoping and in the second round we could see while there were two schools which were leading, but we still had hopes that all those who were on their 20s probably can catch up in the final round and come, which is what happened as well to an extent. And a big, big congratulations to all the eight schools. You don't need to kind of think that if you've not qualified, if you're not in top three, you're not good enough. You were part of that, the top 34 schools out of more than 2000 schools who participated. So, first of all, congratulations to all of you. Uh, as it says, uh, we need to take name of the top three schools and I need to acknowledge that. So, congratulations to Cambridge Court High School for securing first position with 60 points. A big round of applause for you. Like Wenki said, uh, the two runner up teams. Uh, one with 35 DAV public school, Bhubaneswar and Delhi public school with 28. You have another chance left. You need to kind of uh, buckle up and ensure that you get a position in the finale through that round as well, which is on 20th of September. So we're looking forward for that. A big shout out to our uh, expert, our journalist, uh, Mr. Udit Prasanna Mukherjee, business editor, Times of India, Calcutta. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. It was pleasure to hear the kind of clues that you gave them and which helped them to kind of score the points that they could. So thank you so much for taking out time on a weekend, which is Saturday and being a part of this uh, HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness about Junior 2023. Also, I would like to thank our guest, guest of honor, Mr. Ethan Kotari, appointed actually HDFC Ergo General Insurance. Thank you, Ethan, for taking out time and being with us. Uh, all I can say is, uh, thank you all for being a part of this incredible journey. Uh, and let's continue to champion insurance awareness and financial literacy amongst our youth. Don't forget to catch, catch the next zonal round, which is just after the lunch. So you can go have your lunch and get up. It will start at 1 30 PM today. Uh, we're looking forward. For the second round where Venki will again be then selecting one of the teams who will go directly to the finale and then two more teams which will probably uh, again have an option to fight on 20th of September. Also, I would like to thank each and every person who's putting up efforts in making sure that you can kind of be a part of this uh, quiz. You can enjoy, you can be a part of this awareness initiative. There is There are a lot of people who are working behind the scenes. I will not be able to take all the names here, but to the entire team of HDFC Ergo Insurance Awareness Award Junior 2023, thank you for all your efforts in putting this together. Thank you so much.